Hey you, it's Elle. Do you like the crown behind my head? I know that everybody always asks me about that. What's that? That's from Ikea. But anyway, today I have a huge, okay, medium buy and try. These are things that I've purchased over the past six months and for whatever reason I might have posted them on Instagram or shared them on the blog but I have not shared them with you. So I think it is time to get into it. Everything I purchased myself and I'm going to start off with something completely random because this is my show and this is how I want to do it. So let's start off with candles. So the first thing I want to talk about is candles and I was actually going to do like this whole montage of me talking about every time I load candles from past videos but team lazy it did not happen and uh, by the way I have a bit of a cold thing going on so if I sound stuffier than usual that's what it is I know no surprise she's sick but anyway back to the candles I picked this up for $4.97 a piece at Walmart these are from Better Home and Gardens and this one is creamy Tahitian coconut and this one is warm rustic woods so they smell exactly like you think they would they're a couple of ounces smaller than the traditional bath and body works candles but that's fine with me I would say that this one has a really good throw to it the, the uh, creamy Tahitian coconut they have a ton of different scents this one doesn't have as big of a throw but I picked the colors I like the scents so that's why I chose them and I'll pick these colors because they'll go with the color scheme in my living room so after I'm finished with these I'll repurpose them and all in all it was a win from eBay I picked up a brush tree and this says mange mange on it i don't know but anyway just go to ebay and search brush tree it's way less expensive than the ones that you can get from other sites so i picked up these and essentially what you do is you put your brush in here upside down and it'll dry and it has a variety of different sizes for your different brushes i have way more brushes than this but some of them i'll put on a towel and then like the good ones i'll put in here so it's just fun to try yes it works i like it and um it will come with like a paper material on it that you can peel off what I would suggest is wetting that paper first it'll make it so much easier to peel off but you can get this in black or white it was really inexpensive and I like it from Trader Joe's beauty section I picked up these two items I don't know why I did that in a question sound but the first one is this head-to-toe balm so essentially it's you know just like a typical balm it's not greasy but it does have a bit of grit to it thanks to the oatmeal flour that's in this but it's not anything that hurts but you can definitely feel a slight grit to it and this has like a citrusy scent one of my friends said I smelled like um, orange ginger sesame salad dressing or something I don't know is that a good thing a bad thing I have a cold so I just smell citrus but anyway this is pretty we also have the micellar water cleansing wipes if you haven't heard of micellar water you've heard of bioderma it's just a really gentle water or the, it's like a fancy water as uh, Maka once said you just put it on and you know you don't have to wipe it off and it gets rid of your makeup but if you wear like heavy duty makeup waterproof makeup you won't like it but it's just a really gentle cleanser and they have different formulas blah 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 anyway this one is the wipes version of it and it does have a scent to it it doesn't have any alcohol parabens colorants or allergens but I definitely detect a scent it has not aggravated my eyes or anything but is a really really gentle wipe so again if you're thinking of heavy duty makeup this will not be the one for you I would not repurchase these again but I would definitely use them up Walgreens sells their knockoff version of the EOS lip balms which if you ever notice in the back of my videos I keep like a big vase of them because I love them so these are the spring collection scents and there's another one that's missing that is kind of like I would call it a I think it's red velvet and I already have one kind of similar to that in color so I didn't buy it but anyway they um you know they're they're cute they're spring they match my shirt I just stepped on something and ow but yeah they're cute I actually like these better than the EOS I think they're a bit more moisturizing and I'm wearing this one which I think is a marshmallow cream it doesn't have the names on on the bottom so um that's what they look like but I'm wearing I wore this one first before I applied any of my lipstick so I love these and I'm going to juggle them for you are you ready here we go oh 
from Walmart, I picked up the Garnier Clean Makeup Removing Lotion Cleanser. And this is free from parabens and dyes and alcohols and scents and all that stuff. And I picked it up because it says it dissolves waterproof mascara. So it's essentially a lotion cleanser that you put on a dry face and you don't like use it in the shower or anything. I mean, you could, but you know, your skin needs to be dry. And it's worked really well. You can use it daytime, nighttime. It hasn't given me any ill effects. But I purchased this when I was back home because I went to visit my dad who was sick and he ended up passing away so I was not prepared I did not buy anything for that you know and I had a lot of waterproof mascara on naturally you can imagine under the circumstances so when I saw this I was like okay I need something to get this makeup off and I've really really liked this so far Walmart sells the hard candy brand which I remember the OG hard candy brand when it was like high-end and it was just nail polish and it had the little rings um, Ashley I think you said they were bringing them back but anyway um, I picked up these lip crayons because I'm a lip crayon fanatic so you have this one which is just really really glittery mm, looks like that and then you have the kind of original formula so they're called all glossed up and they're around five dollars a piece if you're looking for something really really glittery and shiny you could pick up one of these and if you're looking for just a basic lip balm kind of a color and you it doesn't matter if it doesn't last long but it is very hydrating you could pick up this one. I do like that it's retractable. I don't know if you can see that but it is retractable. The next few items are going to come from drugstores and I cannot remember Walgreens, CVS. I'll try if I can tell you but this first one is the definitely from Walgreens. Studio 35 Beauty. They have some excellent excellent stuff. In fact I did a post on my blog about the hidden gems of the drugstore and this brand is definitely one of them but it's from Walgreens and these are the premium facial cleansing pads but these are the exfoliating ones. I like the regular ones that look like this. You won't be able to tell it but they look like this. When on the back they have these exfoliating beads which it clearly says so I grabbed the wrong one so I like these for cleansing but not necessarily to remove makeup since you can only use one side of it also from the drugstore I picked up this little kit for your eyebrows from Milani and this has a felt tip brow pen and this is in the color brown so it looks like this I did not think it was anything fancy at all I don't really like it it doesn't say that it's waterproof it just says long wearing and you know if you're doing a brow product you want something that's going to last I personally don't do anything to my brows other than brush through them but on camera, it's they look really, really light. So I usually do a little something on them. So that I didn't like. But it also came with an easy liner for eyes, a retractable pencil. So it's a basic, you know, Milani eyeliner. So that one's fine. So it's not a total fail. Next up is the Wet n Wild mega plump double menace mascara and it matches my shirt because I'm in a pink mood today it's spring it's the end of March it's officially spring I've got spring flowers you know I like to switch up the decor anyway this I'm doing a this or that which will be on the blog this week since this is going up on Monday but essentially it's just like the um, Maybelline Big Eyes Mascara. So you see you have the two ends this one is for lower lashes this one is for upper lashes I did not like this at all. I like the wand, but I did not like the formula at all. Nope. Not even. Nope. Mm -mm. Y'all know I have dry skin, so I usually wear foundations that are kind of dewy and, and that kind of a look. Sometimes on camera, I'll do a, um, on camera, I'll wear one that's thicker so it looks better or in pictures but this is the I say that because this is the new Maybelline fit me it said new look dewy plus smooth this is the same one that's been out I just fell for it and it's what I'm wearing today so you can see that and I also picked up the fit me powder because sometimes in the summer I, I get a little oily so I will wear this for those occasions but I rarely rarely wear powder these next few items are from Kmart I don't live near a Kmart so whenever I end up at one I'm gonna pick up whatever I can find so I got some new Rimmel some new Milani and new Jordana so let's start with the Jordana they have their own version of the matte lipsticks that are out this is the original one and these are like 99 cents they look like this one of my favorite ones is an orange one that they have and then they have these new ones that look like this and if you follow me on Instagram these made my 31 uh, days of lipsticks that I did so these are they're okay but I actually like this version better this formula it seems to be a bit creamier than these it's just they're not 
that long lasting despite being a matte but they're not horribly drying either instead I would recommend the Milani ones now I bought some and Milani sent me some so I didn't want to share the ones that I didn't purchase you know to be fair and everything but I'm pretty sure I bought these this is a uh, nude cream and match matte blissful I almost said matte stressful which could totally be a euphemism for my life lately so this is what they look like they're gorgeous they're not as creamy as the Maybelline matte ones which to me are like my favorite drugstore but they are favorite drug drugstore mattes but they are really really good I love them I had one on but then I added a gloss on top but I had an orchid one on I also picked up it was in the same display as all the little lipsticks and stuff one of their it says color statement lip liners true instant color this is in pretty pink and I like this I can't believe I've never owned or remember owning a Milani lip liner before but they're really good I picked up some Rimmel items as I said and uh, this was, these were purchased in I think December so I know they've come out with other things they had a mascara which I hated and I shared in a past um, chit chat video they also have their version of the uh, the lip crayons that everybody has so it looks like that it's pretty good this they're okay it's just the pretty standard lip crayon to me I still like Jordana and um, um, Revlon the best and I also love some Neutrogena ones so this is okay you know if I'm, I like the shade of it then I picked up their lasting finished primer this is, increases foundation wear for up to eight hours and it's unlike their other primer I know they have one that was kind of gray and you know it hasn't broken me out the other one would I'm like so serious when I'm doing this but yeah it looks like that just a basic white primer it doesn't minimize the pores or anything like that on me but it really does help if you need some longevity I think it's not bad for a drugstore primer not my favorite it's not bad also have the lasting finish 25 hour with comfort serum broad spectrum SPF 20 skin perfecting full coverage foundation this gives you a satin finish it's full coverage and I do have dry skin so this is something that I wear on camera just because it looks really good but in person it, on dry skin it would be a little bit too much but I have really enjoyed this one it's a little dark for right now but in pictures since I'm using lights and everything it helps to lighten it up so it looks better Better, but I like it. From Hot Look, I purchased the Kojindo Moisture Foundation, and this is sold at Sephora now, but it's like always sold out. And I have been wanting to try this forever. There are certain items that you hear makeup artists use, you know, from brands you've never heard of or brands you can't easily access. And this one I've been like waiting forever to try it. So when I saw this on Hot Look, I grabbed it. And this is in shade 13. So it's really just a kind of like a tinted moisturizer it says foundation it gives you very light coverage but it does give your skin a certain glow I use this for just special occasions when I don't mind that much coverage I think it's okay I wouldn't purchase it again it was really expensive for such a teeny tiny amount but it is good and I've shared these on the blog but I haven't shared them on here with you guys my Mac for Cinderella collection I picked up the eyeshadow and you could check out the blog or my Instagram for what these look like up close um, only one shade is repeating that I already owned or that and it was already permanent I picked up the lip glasses which they're so different I swear I picked up the mascara which I totally did not mean to but uh, you know whatever and I picked up the lipsticks so this first one is royal ball so you can tell just very very light bought it because I like the packaging a lot of you, you were either love it or hate it with this you're like oh it looks cheap it looks like you know drugstore but I thought it was gorgeous because it has that iridescent and it's something different and this is free as a butterfly this is the concealer one it looks you could tell it, it just looks like concealer I wish I had beautiful lips that could pull this off this is the one that I wear more often but they're really really pretty and if you got a chance to pick these up or anything else from the Cinderella collection I would love to know what you got and I think that's it for my very long medium what do you think buy it and try it I hope you guys are having a great day wherever you are you're seeing this on a Monday so I hope your week is even better and be safe behave and be well Lavelle bye so I thought I would give you some information about KP it is actually